Hi there, Steve here with our how video on integration between the apps in Zoho CRM Plus. As you'll have seen from the wow video on integration, Zoho apps are designed from the outset to share data with each other so the departments in your business work together as one unit instead of as isolated silos. In the WOW video, you'll have seen that leads that we have in CRM like these also appear in our email app. We're using Zoho Marketing Automation in these videos, but the integration works just the same in Zoho Campaigns, our email marketing app. So how did I set up this integration? It's very straightforward. In Marketing Automation Setup, I went to Integrations and Apps. I select Zoho CRM as the integration I want to configure. You can see that I've already got an integration that brings CRM leads into marketing automation. I'm going to create another integration that brings contacts into marketing automation too. I click on New Sync. I say that I want to sync the contacts module in CRM to the CRM contacts list in marketing automation. I leave everything else as it is and then click Next. Next, I say which fields from CRM go where in marketing automation. Several fields are already set up because the field names are the same. You can add extra fields to the sync and that's definitely what you'd want to do if you have custom fields in CRM that your marketing relies on. Fields like contract renewal date that you'd use to send out a renewal reminder. I just press the plus button and add the extra field to the field mappings list. In this example I'm going to use date of birth because that's a field I know already exists in both CRM and marketing automation. What's really cool about this sync process is that it realizes You'll want marketing automation to know about the company a person works for and maybe even the deals you're working on with them. So fields from CRM's accounts module and from its deals module are both available to be synced at the same time. When you've finished setting up your fields, press initiate and the sync goes into action. In the best Blue Peter tradition, let's take a look at one I prepared earlier. Here's Calvin Fraser in CRM. If I change his mobile phone number from ending in 924 to 999, as if by magic, you'll see that it also changes in marketing automation. Now let's look at integration with your customer service or support department. They'd be running our service app, Zoho Desk, to manage support issues. Here are our customers in CRM, and here they are in Desk. How did I set up this integration? In Desk's setup, I select Marketplace and Zoho. You can see that a link to CRM is already enabled, so let's investigate that. Because you'll raise support tickets against customers and against products, it makes sense that the integration synchronizes both. Within each integration, you say which fields from CRM you want to go where in desk. Some of the fields are mandatory, like account name for companies and email address for people, but the rest of them are optional. You can also say whether a sync should be two-way or just from CRM to desk. Most businesses will want two-way synchronization, but some prefer CRM to be the absolute source of all truth for all apps, and there's some virtue to that approach. That type of business would set up a one-way sync. With Zoho, you've got the choice. That decision about whether CRM is the source of all truth also affects how you'd like deleted records to be handled. You choose whether a deletion in CRM causes a deletion in desk and vice versa. Personally, I'd always want to keep a customer's support history even after that business has stopped being a customer, but it's your choice. So those are the most important settings for integrating your sales 
and support departments. To demonstrate this integration in action, let's look at this ticket for Ada and Worthing Council. The subject is the mowers died, which doesn't sound particularly good. We can see that the ticket has been escalated and that it's due for completion by the 10th of February. If I change that due date from the 10th of Feb to the 29th, you'll see that it changes in CRM2. I've set up a two-way integration, so it'll work from CRM to desk as well. So if I change the council's phone number to end 999, if I make that change in CRM, it'll also be reflected in desk. Now let's look at some of the other integrations available in CRM Plus. Integrations that are rare and pretty special as well. Lots of businesses want to offer web chat on their main website and they want everything that goes on in chat to be recorded, but not just recorded anywhere. It's got to be recorded with the contact it belongs to. Now, that seems perfectly logical, but it's hard to do unless you've got Zoho. If you've got Zoho, these integrations are simple. So here we are in Zoho Sales IQ, the app that provides web chat. From Zoho Sales IQ, we're going to send information to Zoho Desk because that's the app that's going to store the chats just like it stores any other support ticket. And because Desk is also integrated with CRM, those chats will appear in CRM too. In Setup, we select Developers, Integrations, and then go to Zoho Apps. We say, add Zoho Desk. And although there are lots of refinements you can add to this integration, that's all you really need to do. The other cool integration is between Sales IQ and CRM. This passes information directly to CRM about what a customer has done on your website, which pages they visited, when they visited, how long they were on the site for, and so on. This kind of thing is gold dust for marketing. You can use it to trigger activities because it tells you what people are interested in. You can run relevant marketing activities that are likely to get good results instead of spray and pray. Like the integration from Sales IQ to Desk, this is unspectacularly simple. Just add the Zoho CRM integration and leave the other options on their default settings. The end result is that Sales IQ records a chat from the website. The integration I just set up posts it to Desk and the integration I set up earlier posts it from Desk to CRM as well. And in CRM, you can also see a contact website activity. So with these integrations, everybody in every department knows what's going on, however your customers chose to contact you. Finally then, let's set up the link between CRM and projects. This is where things can get really spectacular. And because this is Zoho, you still don't need a single line of code. No boffins required here. In the WOW video, we showed you a particularly useful integration. When a deal is won, create a project for it to handle the onboarding process. Or in your business, it could be start a project for the production process. To do anything like that, I create a workflow rule. I set it up to run whenever a deal reaches the one stage and I set it up to run an action called Create Project. Let's take a closer look at that action. You can see that it passes information from CRM, you can pick any of the fields from the right-hand column, into any of the fields in Projects. Those are the fields in the left-hand column. I've only picked a few fields in this example. The name of the deal becomes the name of the project, a start date for the project, and a description for the project. You could add as many as you like. So let's see this workflow integration in action. If I change Cambridge United's deal to closed one, here's a project created automatically for it. You could, of course, make the process far smarter. 
You could tell CRM to only create a project for a certain type or a certain size of one deal. And you could tell it to create a project with lots of individual tasks attached. But that's all for another day. All I wanted to do in this video is open your eyes to the stupendous possibilities. And remember, no animals were hurt and no code was used in the production of this video. Ah, one final point before I let you go and test Zoho for yourself, because yeah, I know you're going to do that. Remember that all these apps are part of the larger Zoho app bundle, Zoho One, as well as part of the Zoho CRM Plus bundle. If you went for Zoho One, you could integrate CRM even further to our accounts app, Zoho Books, to our digital signature app, Zoho Sign, to our field service app, Zoho FSM, to our email app, Zoho Mail, or our contracts app, Zoho Contracts, and, and loads and loads more apps. It's just something you may want to think about. Thanks for watching.